Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can become an Adobe Stock contributor with special tips on how automatic keywording works, not just for images, but also for video. Okay, I want to start by saying Video Revealed has viewers from all around the world. So you've got a great um, choice of wonderful places to shoot video. And the number one word I'm going to give you is lifestyle. Lifestyle is the single most important content, especially in video, for you to upload. If you've got something that depicts a lifestyle in your region, in your culture, in your area, then that is really going to make it through on the other side because that's a big one. Okay, there's a few things you have to understand. First of all, you've got to be 18 years uh, of age. You have to submit a government photo uh, ID. I just submitted a, a quick scan of my driver's license. And you also, if you're outside the US, you have to submit a, uh, a tax form, very simple to fill in. Uh, it uses Adobe technology to fill it in. And mine was approved within about 20 seconds. So if you've ever done something like this on Patreon, a W8, then it's uh, a piece of cake. The great thing about this is Adobe Bridge will help add keywords, but then there's automatic keywords inside the uh, contributor portal. We're going to upload and look at the uh, automatic keywording, and then we'll look at uh, a few other important things that you have to consider. Let's take a look. So this is this is the contributor.stock.adobe.com. So this is the place where you go to upload. There's also, I'm going to put a link to Fotolia, um, which is also part of Adobe Stock, and it talks to you about it explains a lot about keywording um, called indexing here. Better keywords equal better sales. Talking about different categories, for instance, there's representative, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel, Paris, and conceptual, jump, freedom, escape. So you get a better idea. Interesting thing about the Eiffel Tower, you can take a picture during the day. You can't take a picture at night because the lights are copyright. Okay, whatever. Okay, like I said, I'll put a, a link to this Fitolia, um page down in the description. This is the main page where you upload your images. So I'm connected to Adobe Stock into my account and this is where you upload your files to start selling. So you can drag and drop files or you can browse files. Video files must be FTP'd. So a, a simple program, FileZilla, you can get that on Mac and Windows. You, you need to um, um, upload that. So if you click on the learn more, it will use your information. Here's my information. I've uh, blocked it out, but it will show you ho host ID and password to use to put into an FTP. On the right hand side, it gives you guidelines on how to submit. So images are JPEG only. Even if you're shooting in RAW, you must uh, export out as JPEG. Uh, maximum and minimum resolution, the maximum 100 megapixels. If you're like me, I, I come from the megabyte world, so I was scratching my head a little bit. I, I found an online uh, converter because I was wondering, um, my still images are shot as raw on the Canon 5D Mark III, and those are pretty big images. Um, it easily falls under the 100 megapixels. So I take the full camera raw, export that as, as the maximum JPEG and upload that. Maximum file size, 45 megabytes for JPEG. That's still big. Also, uh, you can also upload vector files. So if you've created illustrations in Illustrator, you can export them, uh, upload them as EPS. Uh, they have to be in a zip archive and they have to uh, have a preview. And here's really the big one here that this is video. Videos must be uploaded through FTP. I showed you already how to do that. Minimum resolution is 1280, 720. Um, it's much more preferred to have them as HD or if you're shooting in 4K, by all means, upload as 4K. They've got to be in these formats, Move, MP4, MPEG, or AVI. Um, and you can see below that, we prefer following codecs H.264, ProRes, and Ping. I'm on the Windows side, and I, so I don't have ProRes to upload. I could use Ping. Um, is, Ping is not only an image format, but it can be uploaded as video. Um, H.264, high quality. I just use the, the HD um, YouTube setting, 
and it looks fantastic. There's a maximum size. Avoid vertical or square framing. We're not gonna get into that argument about vertical video, but they're saying avoid that. Contributor submission guide. So if you click on that, um, it will, give you some guidelines. For instance, like I said, you gotta be 18 years or older. You have to upload a government issued photo ID. You have to have the rights. Very important, you have to have a model release. If there's any part of a person in your video, you have to have a signed and uploaded model release or it will be rejected. You can't get around that. Um, there's a person in it and if they're a minor, they actually have to have uh, a guardian or a parent sign that model release. So make it easy, and especially for the lifestyle ones that I'm talking about, you've got people in it, and they're in your, your shot, get model releases. Tells you about the same technical requirements, keywords, and there's the release. So, and there's a model release right here, and a property release. So if it's a recognizable uh, place, you can show that. You can get to the, uh, what to include in the model release. Um, so that is our submissions guideline. Um, I'm gonna go into Adobe Bridge and show you where you can add keywords if you want to. So if I wanted to add keywords to something in here, you can select it, right click, choose file info. You can use the keywords over on the right hand side, but I just think that this little dialog box is much easier. The keywords are entered right in there. So I'll call this sunset, rural, uh, sky, arm, you get the idea. And you could take the moment to put in the title and the author information when I click OK. That's now written into the file. It's actually, even though I'm in Bridge, I wrote that into the file. This keyword information you add in Bridge is respected when you upload uh, inside uh, the contributor portal. Here's two videos that I wanted to uh, uh, include. I want to submit these two videos and I've got those ready to go here in uh, FileZilla. I'm just going to grab these two and drag them in here and it will start transferring those up, uploading them. Uh, I'm on a 10 megabit connection. These are only a, a few hundred megabytes each. So it's pretty quick and we'll catch up when these are done. All right, we're uploaded now. I'm gonna to go to my uploaded files. And you can see there was one that I was working on previous to this. Okay, so let's look at automatic keywords. These are the two video files that are uploading. And as you'll notice over here on the right hand side, there's the uh, clip that I'm, I've uploaded earlier. We're just gonna wait for these videos to upload. Um, you can tell it whether it's a photo or an illustration, in our case it's photo that was automatically uh, selected. Give this a title, I'll call this Limestone Cliffs. And you'll see that automatic keywording is right here and it says beta so this is something that adobe is working on but all of these keywords that you're looking at here were automatically uh, entered for that particular photo water river forest nature landscape and i'll type limestone and you can e keep adding keywords very important that the keyword order your most important keywords are first, that makes a difference. Don't just alphabetize them and stick them in there. Make sure that the important ones are first and the category, um, I'm going to choose landscape for this category. And does this file show recognizable people or property? No, so I don't need any of that other information. And I'll save that work. And, and now it tells me I have one file ready for approval. I'll submit that. So that one was in review, see how it was moved? And I'll go back to my uploaded files. There's my two video files, and let's look at this. 
holy mackerel, it knows its video. And look at this. It added those keywords right away just based on that. Very important tip about this. This is kind of a little uh, unknown thing that, that this also works for videos. And what the uploading portal is doing is it's only looking at the first frame, the first frame. So if your first frame is black, you're not going to get much. If the importance of the content, so here I've got um, a babbling brook, and that's all this is. If the camera pans from the brook and there's an important uh, subject on here, like maybe there is a family having a picnic, that is really the focus of this, not the opening of this. It's not going to get the family picnic in there. You have to add those keywords. So this will only work for the first frame, but hey, for me, because these are constant uh, of what they're looking at, looking like, uh, it's the same thing throughout. So I think that's pretty good. Again, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to environment on this one. Does this contain any recognizable people? No. And honestly, I don't think this is a beach. I don't think there are any animals missing in or animals in here. Um, let's call this creek and a brook. I'm going to name this one. This is the Brideson Creek. Some of your changes could not be saved. Please correct the highlighted item. So obviously I have something wrong somewhere. I don't think that it's correct. I'm submitting that one for approval. That's back in the review. I'm going to go back to my uploaded files. And this is the next one. And you can see that was also automatically keyworded. Although <laughs> there are no alligators in the Brideson Creek. <laughs> so I think that one is wrong. It might have thought there was an alligator. There are no alligators in there. We'll take alligator and we'll take animal out and let's put creek back in there and let's put brook back in there and water, nature, river, creek. All right. Same thing. Let's go to environment. No, there are no recognizable people. Ride some creek. Make this one different. Call it flowing. Let's save the work. Um, remember that these keywords are beta. I'm going to submit that one for my approval. Now I've got three. I've got a photo and two videos that are in review, and I will be notified via email when they are ready. It's really that easy to become a contributor. A uh, couple of things up front, like I said, to get your ID and get your W-8 and, and tax information, you need that. Uh, but once you do that, I mean, here I go, I submitted three. Now, a few other things. If you submit five and they're all similar, two of them are going to get in. You're going to get stuff rejected. That is just natural. Reject probably close to 60% of what you uh, upload. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is there are, there are two different areas. There's a, a contributor, there's a moderated, and there is a curated. The moderated is the royalty-free stuff. That's this. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm not any big famous videographer or photographer. So I'm in the royalty-free. Then there's premier content that is curated. That's for the people who already are established as artists, and there, there, there really is an uh, expectation of exceptional technical execution for the create curated stuff. These aren't just videos that you happen to throw up there. there. There is a higher expectation. They're bringing more people into the uh, curated side of things in the, in the premier content, and more people will be available and invited in. But for you and I, we're probably just going to have the royalty-free stuff as is. 
Um, I really think that, that this is a great opportunity. I mean, it costs you nothing to submit this. You just uh, create an Adobe ID and upload your photos, videos, and illustrations as I showed you. Keywording really is important. Uh, quite honestly, that's not enough keywords that I added. I just did this quickly for the tutorial. I would probably go back and add quite a few, but I would make sure they pertain to this. It's against the rules to put in extra keywords that have nothing to do with it. The title has to be looked at. Every single one of these will be viewed and be either rejected or approved and when they get back to you. All right. Whew, there we go. I just showed you how easy it is. So why not take the opportunity? Like I said, for all the video revealed viewers who are around the world, you are close to some amazing, uh, beautiful uh, places to shoot video and uh, get those uploaded. If you make it a lifestyle video, that's even more important. All right. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take your support a little bit higher, join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I hope to see your videos and your images up on Adobe Stock.